Another really exciting spot for me in the store is the home decor section, um, especially Salvation Army has it really well laid out. They kind of color code their sections, so it makes it really easy to browse. Um, I usually check out the white section, especially if I have somebody looking for milk glass. Um, milk glass is pretty popular now, so that looks something like this. These hobnail vases aren't as popular, but I always keep tabs on um, how many they have and how much they are because oftentimes I have people looking for weddings um, to use as centerpieces or um, just tabletop decor. And then I look for anything that's got a really neat or interesting shape. Um, this definitely just caught my eye. This is quite a neat little carousel bathroom sort of vanity um, storage unit. So that is definitely something that I like. And then I walk down the aisle and I'm always looking for candle holders. Anything that's got a really ornate shape and that would paint up really nice. So whereas these wouldn't necessarily catch my eye because of their beautiful coloring and Roman sort of look to them, um, painted up, they would be really, really nice. Um, they're also heavy, so I'll pick things up. I'll kind of see what um, sort of weight they have. And you can paint right over this glass. Um, so these are some things that I would definitely pick up if I was looking for decor items to paint. Um, you can even spray paint those and they would be a great little um, accent piece for your home. And then coming down the aisle, I always look for lamps. Um, got a big thing for lamps, as you can see from before, um, the ones that I already picked up for myself. So I look through the shelf and anything usually that has crystal or glass on it is a winner in my books. Um, so one like this would be a really nice buy. It's got some weight to it. Um, I'm not sure what the material is in the bottom, but it is heavy. It's not a plastic. So if you were to paint this and paint this, that would be a really sweet little bedside lamp or a desk lamp. I don't really love the ones that have the big shape, but anything that's got sort of a baldness shape to it, like this brass one here, this wood one for sure. Um, looking past the actual finish on it, they really paint up nice and they do modernize quite well um, with a new shade on it. So that is something that I would recommend always looking at the lamp section when you're coming through. And usually in this kind of mishmash section, you can find some really neat things. This popped up right away. Um, so I love this clock, not because it's stellar quality or anything, but because it would look fantastic painted up. Um, I did one recently in a turquoise and it uh, sold right away. It's a great piece and you can really accent all these little details. Yes, it is plastic, but that doesn't matter. It looks really cool. And one of my favorite sections is the silver metal kind of mishmash section. Um, as most of you know, I have an affinity for silver and tarnished silver. So I always check this section, see if there's a piece that I don't have. Um, I don't necessarily need anything, but it's a section I always check anyways. Um, these dishes are really popular, so I like it when I find these. It's a chafing dish, so you can take, sometimes you'll just find um, the bottom part, but this one is all together. So if you take this apart, this is a popular item to make wind chimes out of. So then you would string your fishing wire or um, fishing line or whichever you're going to use to hang and you can do crystals or well, skeleton keys, junk chimes people call them. So this is a really neat um, way to repurpose these items if you don't want to necessarily use it for your casserole. Um, I also check for plates since most of you know I have a plate wall. So something like this is something that I would pick up. You can feel it right away, the difference between the good quality, kind of heavier, um, silver plated and the more tin sort of uh, plates. It just depends what you're looking for. Usually um, the real old ones are quite tarnished looking like this. So that's usually what I gravitate towards. And then I take a look at um, what other pieces are around that are a little bit different than what I normally see. So this one caught my eye today. It's a beautiful uh, metal, I'm not sure what kind of metal, but napkin holder. So this is really something that uh, would be kind of cool on a table and really unique and different. And, oh, and this one. I don't see these ones as often, so this sort of tarnished silver vase is really cool and that would make a really neat centerpiece. I see quite a few florists now using these uh, for wedding centerpieces and they make a really nice base 
for a floral arrangement. So my last stop, normally when I'm kind of going around the store, is the frame and mirror section. So I take a quick scan. I'm usually looking for something really gaudy. If something catches my eye and it looks horrendous, it's usually what I'm going for because they paint it the nicest. Um, they have the best style. A lot of them are just really plain. Um, which is fine if you're looking to use something kind of as is, but when I'm looking to paint something, I definitely want something that's got some shape to it. Um, first of all, this one, even though it's not gaudy, um, caught my eye because windows are always popular. So painted up in a white, this would be fantastic. White and distressed, and it's a pretty simple project. You don't have to deal with um, any of the stripping of the old paint because it's not an actual old window. So this is a better or an easier project than getting an old window. Um, but then behind that, these caught my eye right away. These kind of Rococo style mirrors are really great to clean up because they give a lot of visual impact. And then I will look on the back and this is what I'm looking for here. This um, Sirocco mirror. Um, they're usually from 1950s, 1960s. This was a really high quality mirror maker at the time and they used a quality resin. So it is a plastic but they make really neat style, um, really popular and in-demand style mirrors. Normally you'll find them kind of in an oval and they've got like a flourish on the top and a flourish on the bottom. These ones are nice because they're rectangular, so if you're not into the oval sort of more curvy mirrors, this gives an option as well. Um, so definitely take a look at the back and see who made it. It's not old, old, but it's vintage and quality. So that is a good buy right there.